Jessica Tandy, a talented actress, made a significant mark in the world of theater and film. With a career spanning over six decades, she became a beloved figure for her powerful performances. Her role in Driving Miss Daisy won her an Academy Award, making her the oldest winner in the Best Actress category at that time. She also received praise for her work on stage, including a Tony Award for her performance in A Streetcar Named Desire. Her dedication to her craft and ability to bring characters to life made her a respected and memorable figure in the entertainment industry. Jessica Tandy was a talented actress known for her strong performances on stage and in films. She won an Academy Award for Best Actress for her role in Driving Miss Daisy, becoming the oldest winner in the category at that time. Tandy's career spanned many decades, and she was respected for her ability to bring depth and realism to her characters. Now, we'd like to ask you a couple of questions. Do you have a memory associated with Jessica Tandy that you hold dear? Maybe a movie of hers you watched with family or a performance that left a lasting impression. What do you think made Jessica Tandy stand out among other actors of her time? Was it her acting style, the role she chose, or something else? We're eager to hear your stories and memories about this classic star, so please share them in the comments below. Stay tuned, as we have many interesting, surprising, and touching facts about Jessica Tandy's life and career to share with you. Keep watching to discover more about her remarkable journey in the world of acting. Jessica Tandy, born in 99 in London, grew up in a modest family. Her mother, Jessie Helen Horsepool, was a headmistress, and her father, Harry Tandy, was a traveling salesman. She discovered her love for acting early on and attended the Ben Greed Academy of Acting. Her passion was nurtured by her mother's support and the inspiring environment of the Academy. Tandy's early stage experiences in London's theater scene were pivotal, leading her to Broadway and eventually to a successful career in film. Her dedication to her craft was evident from a young age, and she often spoke of the influence her mother had on her career, encouraging her to pursue her dreams. Jessica Tandy was a respected actress whose work left a lasting effect on Hollywood. She began her career on stage and transitioned to films. Her role in Driving Miss Daisy won her an Academy Award for Best Actress at age 80, making her the oldest winner in that category. She showed that talent does not fade with age. Tandy's performances in films like The Birds and Fried Green Tomatoes displayed her skill in bringing depth to diverse characters. Her career spanned six decades, and she inspired future generations of actors. Her dedication to her craft made her a role model for many in the industry. Tandy's influence is seen in the roles written for older actresses and the opportunities available to them today. Jessica Tandy, the celebrated actress, found her love for acting early on. As a young girl, she was enchanted by the stage during a school play. The applause and bright light sparked something deep within her. She knew then that acting was her calling. It was not just a moment, but a growing love as she spent countless hours practicing lines and expressions in front of her mirror. Her dedication led her to the stage, where she felt most alive, transforming into different characters and touching the hearts of many. This passion drove her to a successful career, gracing stages and screens with her talent. Jessica Tandy took on the role of Frau Lucy Marie Rommel in The Desert Fox, The Story of Rommel. In this film, she portrayed the widow of Erwin Rommel, who also worked behind the scenes as a technical consultant. Jessica Tandy brought life to the character with the help of personal items from the Rommel family and guidance from the film's creators. Later, she also contributed as a military consultant for The Longest Day, produced by the same studio. Her talent was recognized when she won the Best Actress Oscar at the age of 80 for Driving Miss Daisy, setting a record as the oldest recipient until Christopher Plummer's win at 82. Jessica Tandy, a talented actress, faced many challenges in her early career. She struggled with limited financial resources, which made it difficult for her to pursue acting opportunities. The film and theater industry was also doubtful of her abilities, often overlooking her talent. Despite these obstacles, Jessica showed great determination. She took on various roles, no matter how small, and used each experience to hone her craft. 
Her creativity shone through as she found ways to stand out, eventually earning recognition for her skill and dedication. Her story is one of perseverance, showing that with hard work and belief in oneself, it is possible to rise above difficulties and succeed. Jessica Tandy received her education at Dame Alice Owen School, located in Potter's Bar, Hertfordshire, England. She is well known for her role as Blanche Dubois, which she originated opposite Marlon Brando in the play, A Streetcar Named Desire. In the film The Birds, she played Lydia Brenner, and some people questioned the age difference between the characters Mitch and Kathy as siblings. This was because Jessica Tandy was old enough to be their mother, which she portrayed in the movie. The age difference between siblings in the film is possible, as a woman can have children from her early teens into her mid-40s, allowing for a wide range of ages between siblings. Jessica Tandy's career had several significant moments. Her role in Driving Miss Daisy was a major turning point. She played Daisy Wortham, an older Jewish woman, and won the Academy Award for Best Actress for this performance. This win made her the oldest actress to receive this award at the time. Her peers and critics praised her ability to bring depth and warmth to her character. Another highlight was her performance in A Streetcar Named Desire, where she originated the role of Blanche Dubois on Broadway. Her portrayal was powerful and earned her great respect in the acting community. These roles showed her talent and left a lasting impression on audiences and fellow actors. They often said she could make any character seem real and touching. Her work inspired many and showed the power of strong acting. Jessica Tandy's career was full of interesting choices and moments. She turned down the role of Aunt Trina and I Remember Mama to work on A Woman's Vengeance. This decision opened the door for Ellen Corby to step in and earn an Oscar nomination. In The Birds, Tandy played Lydia Brenner and off screen, she shared a life with Hume Cronin. They were a unique pair, both having acted in Hitchcock films, with Cronin in Shadow of a Doubt and Tandy in The Birds. Tandy's role as Daisy Worthen in Driving Miss Daisy is memorable not just for her performance, but also for the story behind it. She was so sure she wouldn't win the Oscar that she bet 100 against herself. On the night she won, she happily paid her agent, saying it was the best bet she ever lost. Jessica Tandy, the actress, was known for her natural acting style that seemed effortless. She approached each role with a deep understanding of the character, often drawing on her own life experiences to bring authenticity to her performances. Her unique style was characterized by her ability to connect with the audience, making them feel the emotions of the character as if they were their own. This connection was a result of her personal belief in the power of storytelling and her desire to reflect the human condition in her work. Tandy's performances often highlighted the strength and resilience of individuals, which she believed were qualities everyone possessed. Her work continues to inspire actors and audiences alike, showing that personal truth and emotional honesty can create lasting art. Jessica Tandy's life was rooted in family and acting. Her mother, Jessie, grew up in Wisbeck, Cambridgeshire, under the care of her grandparents, John and Martha Horsepool. Jessica herself became a mother to Susan Hawkins and Tandy Cronin, sharing them with her first husband, Jack Hawkins, and to Christopher Cronin with her second husband, Hume Cronin. Her legacy in acting continued through her granddaughter, Catherine Cronin. In her remarkable career, Jessica Sean is Alma Finley in the movie Cocoon, working alongside fellow Oscar winners Don Amici and Maureen Stapleton, as well as nominees Hume Cronin and Jack Guilford. Her role in this film is remembered for its warmth and depth, reflecting her talent and bringing characters to life on screen. Jessica Tandy was a talented actress known for her strong performances on stage and screen. She won an Academy Award for her role in Driving Miss Daisy, showing her skill in bringing characters to life. Her work helped show that older actresses could play leading roles in major films. Tandy's style of acting was natural and believable which influenced other actors to adopt a more realistic approach to their performances. She also opened doors for more stories about older characters, adding depth to the types of stories told in film and theater. People in the industry respect her for her dedication to her craft and her ability to connect with audiences. Those she worked with often speak of her professionalism and the warmth she brought to her roles.
Jessica Tandy took on the role of Daisy Worthen in the movie Driving Miss Daisy, where she portrayed an older lady who develops a friendship with her driver. In an earlier film, The Canary Sedan, she played a similar part, again being driven by a chauffeur. Her performance in Driving Miss Daisy was part of a talented cast that included fellow Oscar winners Morgan Freeman and Ray McKinnon, as well as Oscar nominee Dan Aykroyd. In another movie, Batteries Not Included, she was Faye Riley, a character who, along with her husband, encounters tiny living spaceships. The jazz music in this film connects it to Cocoon the Return, where she also acted alongside Hume Cronin, bringing a sense of continuity through the music in both films. Jessica Tandy, the actress known for her role in Driving Miss Daisy, had a life filled with love for the arts and a strong sense of giving back. She supported the arts community and was involved in charity work, especially focused on children and education. Her belief in the power of theater to change lives led her to support programs that brought drama to schools, inspiring the next generation. Tandy's passion for acting was matched by her commitment to helping others, and this was reflected in her support for causes that aimed to improve literacy and learning opportunities for underprivileged youth. Her dedication to these causes showed that she not only entertained, but also cared deeply about the well-being of others, especially children. Jessica Tandy, a respected actress, had a family life filled with joy. She was the grandmother to four grandchildren through her daughter Susan Hawkins and son-in-law John Tedimer. Her career was marked by notable achievements, including a prestigious award for her leading role in the play Foxfire at the Almondson Theater in Los Angeles. Her talent was further recognized when she won the Best Actress Oscar for Driving Miss Daisy, a film that also won Best Picture. This rare honor places her among a select group of actresses who have achieved this double win. Jessica Tandy was a talented actress who left a strong impression on the film and theater industry. Her work showed that dedication and passion for the craft are key to success. She often shared that aspiring actors should focus on their love for acting more than fame. She believed in continuous learning and adapting, which is vital for longevity in this field. For those starting out, she advised to always be true to oneself, to keep working on one's skills, and to take every opportunity to act, whether it's a small local play or a big movie role. Her approach was to treat each role with respect and to give it your all, no matter how small it might seem. This mindset can lead to a fulfilling career. Jessica Tandy brought to life the character of Daisy Worthen in Driving Miss Daisy, where cars played a significant role. Her portrayal began with Daisy's car accident in a black 1947 Chrysler Royal sedan. This led to Hope Colburn, played by Morgan Freeman, becoming her driver in a maroon 1949 Hudson Commodore sedan. The film showcased various cars, reflecting the passage of time, including a bottle green 1949 Cadillac Series 61 Sedanet driven by Daisy's son Bully, played by Dan Aykroyd. Over the years, the cars changed from a black 1955 Cadillac Fleetwood to a blue 1965 Cadillac Calais, and later to a white 1970 Cadillac Fleetwood. Bully's final car was a teal 1971 Mercedes-Benz 300 SEL 45 sedan, and the film concludes with Morgan Freeman's character being driven in a 1970 Mercury Cougar. In The Birds, Jessica Tandy's image was used for the movie's famous poster, capturing a moment of terror as birds invaded a home. This image was not of the lead actress Tippi Hedren, but of Tandy herself, taken from a harrowing scene in the film. Jessica Tandy and her husband Hume Cronin shared the screen in 13 films over five decades, often playing a married couple. Their collaborations included diverse stories and genres from their first film together, The Seventh Cross, to their last, Camilla. These films allowed them to explore different facets of life and relationships, leaving a lasting impression on their audiences. Jessica Tandy's career in acting is a story of love for the craft and a drive to innovate. From her early days on stage to her success in film, she showed that talent combined with hard work leads to great achievements. Her roles were diverse, and she brought life to each character with skill and grace. Her dedication to acting opened doors for future generations, showing that age is not a barrier to success. Her journey reminds us that with creativity and determination, one can leave a lasting impression on the world. 
Jessica Tandy's life encourages us to keep pushing forward, no matter the challenges we face. Jessica Tandy's talent shone brightly when she became the 100th actress to be honored with an Academy Award, securing the Best Actress Oscar for her role in Driving Miss Daisy. Her performance not only earned her an Oscar, but also a Golden Globe, making her one of the select few to win both awards for the same role. In Batteries Not Included, she played Faye Riley, and this film marked one of her final collaborations with her husband, Hume Cronin. They worked together on just three more films, with Camilla being their last, released shortly after her death. Tandy's legacy is remembered for her exceptional skill that brought her characters to life, leaving a lasting impression on audiences and the film industry. Jessica Tandy's performances have touched many hearts over the years. We invite you to share your favorite moments and how her roles have inspired you. Your thoughts are valuable and we love hearing from you. If you enjoy celebrating the artists who shape our entertainment, please like, share, and subscribe for more content. Your support helps us bring more stories and memories to you. Let's keep the conversation going in the comments below.